what's up guys in this tutorial we'll study about selection statement uh, suppose that uh, you want to execute a line of code as in if you want to print hello only based on a certain condition if the condition is satisfied only then you you want to print hello so for that uh, for this purpose we have a conditional or the selection statement so what's the syntax for that okay it's like if if is a c keyword if condition whatever the condition is if this condition is satisfied you have a statement so how would this work if is a keyword if the condition this which is present between the parentheses if it is satisfied then only the statement will be executed uh, suppose that if you have multiple lines of code uh, as in you have three to four statements should be executed suppose you want to print hello on the next line you want to print uh, hey or then you want to increment a value of a variable and then print the variable and then there are multiple statements that you want to execute only if only when the condition is satisfied so you can write this way uh, if condition then print a statement uh, if the condition is true then for multiple statements here yeah. if you have multiple statements uh, you have to write this curly braces and it would have statement one statement two yeah one two three and so on you can have multiple statements so just remember that if you have multiple statements always are uh, right inside curly braces or okay uh, now suppose that uh, if the condition is satisfied you want to perform a certain lines of code and if it is not satisfied a uh, certain other lines of code so for syntax for that is if the condition is satisfied you have certain lines of code else if it is not satisfied then you have certain lines of code okay okay suppose an example of this is suppose you have a number uh, 5 uh, you want to compare it with 10 okay so 5 is less than 10 suppose I have a condition of this uh, here if 5 is less than 10 print something okay print else print something else okay so uh, we know that 5 is less than uh, 10 so this statement will be executed this part the first part but suppose the if the opposite would happen if 5 is greater than uh, 10 so is 5 greater than 10 so this statement is false so the else part would be executed okay you uh, know that uh, here 0 stands for false and the rest rest all things are true so if I write here if 0 0 means false so the else part will be executed but if I write here if 1 the first part will be executed as it repre 1 represents true and 0 represents false anything uh, except 0 represents true ok now suppose you have something like this you want uh, you have to compare a number if it is less than 10 or it is between 10 and 15 or greater than 15 so how would we uh, do that if ok a number say any number uh, assume that number is a variable if number is less than 5 you have something uh, some course uh, lines of code uh, I'll put this up then else if number is less than 10 you have certain lines of course else you have certain lines of code so how would this work out if the number is uh, less than 5 then uh, the lines of code here will be executed as in the this first part if the number is less than 10 the second part would be executed and as the number is uh, not satisfying the first two conditions the else part would be executed so you might be thinking that uh, 
if we take number as suppose 2 so 2 is less than 5 so this is also a uh, part is considered to be executed and and 2 is also less than 10 so this also must be executed but uh, how does if statement works it checks for the first condition if the number is less than 5 it would uh, execute uh, these statements and then it would break out as in it would come out here the statement which are followed by the after the else part so only one only the one part of the uh, code is executed all the three or two are not executed uh, so you can have multiple else if statements as in it's not a compulsion to have only one else if statement as in you can have if uh, condition one you have something then you have else if condition two you have certain lines of code else if condition 3 certain lines of code else a certain lines of code uh, so there is not a uh, compulsion to have one only you can have multiple uh, else if part but uh, always remember remember that there cannot be an else if statement uh, without an if, if, if statement as in else if uh, statement always follows the if statement so never write uh, just else if part it would throw an error okay so now let's uh, try this out in our IDE uh, we'll find we'll write a program to find the greatest of three numbers okay I'll write my basic structure first okay uh, hash include stdi or not I'll take an input of three numbers I'll write a printf statement stating enter three numbers enter three numbers and a backslash and after that Oh, I'll take uh, I'll def first define three numbers int a comma b comma c scan f for taking the input three integers so three percentage d would come three percentage d percentage d percentage d and I'm gonna send a for address of a I'm gonna send b and I'm gonna send c okay uh, let's see if this uh, let's see of pro uh, file first I'll give it a name greatest Uh, let's see if this part is working at least compile and run okay enter three numbers three four five okay fine let's proceed further okay so how would this actually work we compare first a with b and a with c if a is greater than b and a is greater than c then a would be the greatest but if the statement is false as in if a is not greater than b or a is not greater than c then we'll compare B and C and the uh, greatest greatest among the two will be the uh, actual greatest as in amongst A, B and 3 A, B and C sorry okay so we'll write our first statement if A greater than B and and that's a logical and and A greater than C if this is a scenario we have A to be the greatest so we'll write here A is greatest and we print print its value and its value is percentage d since it's an integer and a okay now if this is false as in a is not the greatest then we'll compare b and c okay so if b is greater than c then b would be the uh, would be the greatest 
so I'll copy this statement and print it here and if the first two conditions are false then uh, C would be the greatest okay let's execute a file and see compile and run okay enter three numbers hundred suppose second number is two and the third number is forty okay A is the greatest and its value is a hundred oh, let's try with an another example suppose 10 89 and suppose 9 okay yeah b is the greatest and its value is 89 so yeah we are get getting it right okay yeah that's how we can find the greatest of three numbers using if statement uh, oops i written two numbers it's three numbers yeah so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you